hello guys good evening so in this video we are going to discuss about the directory structure of linux operating system okay so in the last videos we have discussed the introduction of linux operating system as well as uh, the booting process of linux operating system there in booting process i have explained to you centos 6 as well as centos 7 booting process right so in this video i'm going to explain you about the structure so see here in this i have a system open here my server up to this we have discussed right we just uh, i mean created a linux operating system and we have uh, logged in with the linux operating system. and when we start linux operating system this booting will happen and it will come to the login screen and i logged in now now you should now this is a situation where you have to understand the directory structures of linux operating system so without directory structure you cannot even do anything with Linux operating system, right? So, first directory structure. I mean, when you log in with the Linux operating system, you'll be getting. Let's suppose I log in with the root. So my my root account is username is root. That's why you can see root here. And I logged into when I, when you log in with the root username and password, you'll be getting this these options, this window. This the meaning of this is you log in with the root operating system, root uh, root account of server server is my host name and tilt symbol this symbol indicates you logged in with the, the home folder of root you logged in with the home folder of root how do you see that let's say if you go pwd you can see the current working directory is slash root slash root is the home folder of root directory likewise in windows if you go to computer my computer c drive and users you can see my name here finish so my i logged in with my name that's why the uh, my folder will be created here finish Raj, right the same way if you log in with the root user the corresponding home folder will be created the home folder is called a slash root okay and this hash symbol indicates you logged in with the root user admin account okay this hash symbol indicates you logged in with the admin account if you have if you see dollar symbol here you i mean if dollar symbol comes here you can uh, you can understand that you logged in with the some other user right except root i mean root i mean admin user okay if you log in with the admin user you can see this hash symbol this is very very important okay and now we are going to discuss about the directory structure you can see pwd here now you are in root directory but where this root directory is there this root directory is lying under forward slash right so forward slash is my root backbone directory not root we used to call it the root only but it is backbone directory so this linux operating system has a hierarchical of uh, st uh, structure a tree kind of hierarchical structure right so the root the slash this is not the root this is slash forward slash is the backbone directory of linux operating system all other directories are coming under this forward slash okay see forward slash is the backbone directory so under this all these directories are coming under this directory see i log in with the root user now i am in the home folder of root user if you give ls here sorry ls here you can see some files right which is there in home directory home folder okay if you want to see the backbone directories you have to go with the backbone directory so cd cd is to enter into a directory and backbone forward slash forward slash is my backbone directory i am going to forward direct forward i mean backward directory we can see the difference now here see it is tilt tilt defines the it is there in the home folder of root the use of the user who logged in okay now it is changed to forward slash that means it is in the backbone directory now if you give ls here ls is nothing but list uh, folders and files okay so if you give ls here you can see so many directories under this these all directories are called this backbone directories i mean these all directories are uh, there to i mean design i mean there to serve multiple purposes actually so let's say devices consist of uh, we'll discuss one by one okay so this is the directory structure of linux operating system you can see here see backbone directory under backbone directory we have all the directories present this is a, a hierarchical of, of i mean structure tree a tree structure hierarchical tree structure okay so then we'll discuss these directories one by one 
okay so we you should know i mean in order to work with the linux operating system you should know all the functions of these directories this is very very important right so first we'll discuss about etc directory etc etc is nothing but uh, this is not etc we are calling this as etc directory etc directory this first we'll discuss about etc directory this ect directory if you go here cd etc directory if you give ls here you can see so many files over under that these all files are called as configuration files so basically etc directory holds all the configuration files Okay, etc directory hold all the configuration files. Let's say if we install any package, okay, the corresponding configuration file will be stored here. If you want to look at any con, if you want to configure any configuration file, or if you want to see any configuration file, you have to come to etc directory where you can find all the configuration files. Okay, so uh, if you want to see the number of files we have here, ls hyphen l. Um, then wc hyphen yeah, you can see there are 246 files over there as of now i have 246 configuration files okay we'll discuss all these commands later okay there are 246 files over there here okay these are all the configuration files so etc directory is designed for the configuration files let's say irrespective of any package you install the configuration file will be placed under etc directory okay if you want to see or if you want to configure anything you by using the configuration file you have to go to etc directory to join the configuration file okay and slash dev slash dev consists of all the device files cd slash dev if you go here you can see all the device files these are our character specific files these are our, this is hard disk this hard disk are hard these sda sda1 2 sdb these all are my hard disk this is block specific file and this is character specific file so this device directory consists of all the devices okay hard disk usb drives uh, the cd drive let's say this is my sr0 is my cd drive and this these are my hard disk right and this is character specific files terminals tty lines so it, it, i mean it has all the device files okay so and next is actually dev is fine now now boot boot directory as i have explained it before cd boot this boot directory if you go here you can see all the boot files here grab grab to another step so all the boot files are available at this directory and you should never touch this directory you should not do any changes with the directory if you do any changes with the directory and you are you may i mean your system will throw out an error it will never you uh, never allow you to log in or lo i mean log into the system or i mean never never allow you to uh, access the machine okay this is very critical so you should not make um, any major changes to the file i mean system uh, to the directory unless you have a proper uh, what plan as well as proper i mean concurrence with your manager some more approval from your manager okay so then next directory is we have discussed about etc dev and boot directory next is actually home directory home and slash root i told you this is back this is not a root we used to call as root but this is not a root this is a backbone directory forward slash we have one directory called as home as well as root we are going to discuss the difference between these two directory home directory as well as root directory if you come here as i told you when you log in with any any user okay so you will be logging with uh, the home folder of the user let's say i log in with the root user so uh, when you when i let's say go here leave over all those things go to duplicate session log in with the root again see root one two three four root see I log in with the root root user, but I log in with the home folder of root user, right? So pwd if you go print working directory, you can see slash root. So slash root is the home folder of root der, root user, admin user. Okay. Slash root is nothing. Here, here we have slash root, right? Let me close this. Here we have slash root. Slash root is nothing but it's a home directory of the admin user admin user is root okay and home whatever you user whatever user you create apart from um, root user 
all the root users home directories will be lying under slash home let's say i'm, I'm going to create a user at let's say um uh, user at test i'm going to create a user called test test is already exist uh, let's move on uh, we'll create one more user user at test one test one okay user is created if i want to log in with the and password um, password uh, of test one user i'll explain you all these comments later okay okay i have changed this password okay if i want to log in with the user now you can see let's say i'm going to log in with the test user test one uh, and the password see you can see it logged in with the home for home directory of test one right if you give print print working directory here you can see it is under home directory so home directory is nothing but home directory is used to store the user information except root user that's the difference between home and root root is nothing but it's a home directory of root user home is nothing but it's a home directory of other users let's say this is other user right this is the user's address is lying under user directory is lying under home but here this is a root user so his direct uh, his um, uh, home directory is called as root backward directory okay and you can see the difference here as i told you right if you see dollar symbol here we are logging with the other user but if you log, log in with the root user you can see this symbol here uh, hash symbol here right this is the difference okay then next what we are going to discuss is actually next we are going to discuss about um, home and bin uh, home and root we have discussed bin and s bin okay we have two directories called bin and s bin right so bin what is there under bin directory bin is nothing but binaries see you can see all the commands these are all the commands there in bin directory these are all the commands so the commands which are executable by which are executable by the normal user is lying under is lying under bin directory right so the command which are executable by normal users will be running under uh, will be there under uh, which directory will be the, uh, uh, there under bin directory let's say wh what is the command let's say ls ls command see root user can execute ls command as well as let's say le let me go to test one test one is a normal user right see this test user also can execute ls command so this ls command works for both normal user as well as um, as uh, normal user as well as the root user okay so uh, you can check wh from where this is um, i mean ls command is coming command is which ls you give me which ls here which ls is coming from bin directory so the commands which are executable by all the user irrespective of privileged user or non-privileged user all users they are coming from bin directory and yes bin directory yes bin directory in the sense let's say we have a command called f disk this command is a privileged command the users who are having um, this is a very important command you can do anything with this command the users who are having uh, admin privileges they can able to only execute this command i'm going to execute this command in under root directory fds hyphen l if you give this command see if i mean this command is executed by root directory can able to can can able to execute this fds command right if you go to test the normal user directory if you type fdisk fdisk hyphen l you can see permission denied so the uh, that means the commands which are executable by admin or privileged users are coming from sbin directory let's say which fdisk you can see this is coming from sbin directory that's why sbin command this fdisk command cannot be executed by root i mean uh, normal user until the normal user get permission if non uh, normal user gets pseudo i mean uh, pseudo permission or uh, I, mean, uh, I mean admin permission he can able to execute that okay this is the difference between uh, if uh, bin and sbin directory so bin directories in the commands which are bin is admin binaries this consist of the executable uh, i mean executable commands the users who are able to the commands which is which is executable by all the users are coming from bin directory and the commands which are executable by uh, privileged uh, users or privileged uh, users like uh, root or admin users 
the, that all comments are coming from yes bin directory okay so we have discussed about uh, some directories here next we have a uh, directory called opt as well as user usr as well as opt so i'll tell you the few difference of those two uh, usr is nothing but this is a global configuration directory where you have all the pre-installed or pre-installed things pre-installed commands pre-installed uh, pre-installed let's say whenever we install operating system some files some programs will be installed right those all programs will be lying under usr directory okay those all programs will be lying under usr directory okay when you install windows if you go here when you install windows whatever is there under accessories part that all will be lying all will be there right all will be pre-installed likewise these kind of commands and programs which are pre-installed will be lying under uh, usr directory and opt's direct opt directory is used for third party application if you install any third party application you can keep it under opt directory okay that's the difference between both um, uh, opt directory as well as usr directory okay and we have discussed about almost all the directories and media media is nothing but media files if you want to keep any media files you can keep it here in media directory and i told you usr usr is nothing but where you have uh, uh, global configuration files whatever con files or uh, programs will be are pre-installed i mean installed when you run uh, when you uh, install operating system that files are lying under usr directory right and variable this is very very important war directory cd slash war uh, this directory consists of so many things okay you can, if you go here you can see cd war then uh, email directories or if you go this mail you go to this mail directory you can see all the mail file folder of users see i have created a lot of users here these all users uh, the these are um, the home and the mail directory of users let's say if you go to uh, vi john you can see there are no emails of john for john if any emails are there that will be there let's say if you go to uh, vi vinesh let me check whether any anything is there or not nothing is there okay let's say if any emails are there this these are the email folders you can have as soon as you create a user the mail folder will be created the mail folder is lying under this bar directory if you go to uh, pwd you can see which directory you are working with you are working with the var directory board directory okay first of all we have mail okay uh, then we have uh, let's say if you install um, http see there is a folder will be created here if you want to host a website you have to install http or right? apache if you install apache the folder will be created here so you can see here www under that an html folder will be there and um, log files see cd log you can see all the log files here okay see here all the log files message message logs and ntp so secure logs oh, firewall boot so many if you want to see the log file of any service you can come to this location cd war log okay cd war log so and we have lot of things we have and spools print spools will be available here these spools okay and targets so lot of things are available this is a very very important uh, directory this directory is used to uh, check the email folders check the log files mainly we are using for log files okay so we'll discuss about this log files later okay this is about vr direct var directory as well as as well as mnt mnt is nothing but mount directory mount is a mount directory is nothing but let's say if you want to uh, install um, or if you want to uh, have any um, let's say i put cd to my server okay linux server this is my linux server i put if i put cd lsblk lsblk is a command see here as of now i don't have any cd sr0 yes this is sr0 sr0 is size is 1024 mb okay rom this is cd drive i don't have anything in my cd i'm going to enable cd now here see here go here go to not new sorry go to settings and uh, uh, store storage see I'm selecting my OS so CD is applied now so if you see 
uh, if you run the command again lsblk you can see 4.2 gb of cd but uh, see i have installed cd now cd is i can see the cd from here now but the thing is actually i cannot view the cd now unless i mount the cd i cannot view the cd right this uh, mount directory is used to mount the uh, cd to computer let's say see, i don't have anything to this directory as of now if you want to let's say if you want to mount anything to the computer you can able to mount to this mnt directory so mnt directory is used to mount the cd drives or dvd drives to server because as see i put a cd now if i remove the cd the contents will go off right i can't put the cd i mean every time like that because see if cd runs keep on running cd will get damaged so i can i so i have to keep this file to the server right in that case you can mount this cd to your server okay so the contents will be there even if you remove the uh, cd also that is the use of mount if you want to mount and then like in windows if you put the cd you can go and uh, go to my computer and you can see from here right that is not possible with the linux operating system you have to mount it anywhere if you want to mount anything to anywhere okay any uh, so anything to computer you can use server you can use mount directory so almost we have discussed all the use i mean all the directories of linux operating system right see here i can show you one more command also here bin essential for user command binaries boot boot loader dev device files etc host specific system configuration right home is a home folder of user home directories library shared libraries we have and kernel modules media removable i mean used for media purpose mnt mount find so likewise we have lot of things here okay lot of things here this is all about the structure of linux right so if you want to i mean uh, review i will i'll just or else i'll review um, i'll just uh, give you a short form of uh, i mean i mean give you everything in a single line of root root is nothing but it's a um, root directory of it's a backbone directory of the entire i mean linux operating system bin is binaries uh, the commands which are executable by the normal op normal users as well as the privileged users uh, so all commands are lying under bin directory opt is for third party uh, software installation boot is for boot files root is for it's a home folder of root root, direct, uh, root user and devices consist of all the devices files hard disk series and other stuff character specific and block specific files yes bin yes bin is nothing but it's a directory which is used to uh which is used to uh, which is this is a directory where all the privileged commands um, binaries are present etc is a con where you have configuration files and home where you have uh, uh, the home directory of all the users temp we have temporary files library we have sh shared libraries usr is a global configuration files where i mean it has all the pre-installed uh, uh, programs media used to keep uh, media files where directory where you can see the emails logs and other steps and here um, mnt uh, used to mount the directory so this is all mount the uh, mount cd or db drives to the computer so this is all about the structure of linux operating system guys uh, i hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and um, enable the bell icon and forward this uh, video to your friends as well as the latest too Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next module.